Hey guys, Radical Reggie here, and you're watching Chris, the old ass retro gamer. See ya! Hey everybody, Chris, the old ass retro gamer here, and welcome to day 28 in the licensed video game challenge. Man, there's been comic book licensed games since there's been video games. I remember back in the day I had the original Spider-Man game on the Atari 2600 and it was fun for a little while, but it did wear thin kind of quickly because there's not a lot to it. But, funny I mentioned that. Because I consider my favorite comic book licensed game to be Spider-Man on the PS4 slash PS5. So a few years back I wasn't exactly a big fan of the open world games. My opinion changed on it when I played Mad Max. I'm a huge fan of Mad Max Fury Road and the other films in the franchise and I realized this is just like Grand Theft Auto. Those games that I kind of would get sick of playing after a few hours and never want to go back to back in the day. And I'm really enjoying this so maybe I do like open world games now. Like I've I've always said ever since the beginning of this channel my tastes change randomly so now I really enjoy open world games that's basically one of the genres I play the most of nowadays spider-man is in that genre and I avoided it at first because I knew there was going to be DLC for this game why wouldn't they spider-man is a huge license Marvel is huge insomniac and Sony are gonna try to take advantage of those players and their wallets as long as they possibly can. So I knew that there was gonna be some extra content in the future. So I avoided picking it up regardless of everybody telling me that it was the best game ever and stuff like that for at least a year and a half until this Game of the Year edition came out which has all the DLC already built in. And I'm glad I waited. Yes, I was like a year and a half behind everyone else playing this game, but man, this game ate up like two and a half months of my life. Not only is the story super well written and performed by the motion capture actors and everything. There's a few times where I legit got choked up by something going on here. That's rarely something that happens to me when it comes to video games. What kept me playing this for months was the gameplay. It is super fun. I remember Spider-Man 2 on the original Xbox, and I do believe the PS2, and the GameCube revolutionized the way that the web-slinging stuff played, especially when you're swinging through the city and all that. It just made it fluid and fun and effortless, and it was amazing to see go down here they just completely retooled it and made it the best it's ever been i had no problem swinging all over the damn place looking for gang activity robberies chasing down drones whatever it was and then the other part of the game is the beat-em-up aspect because once you get to the place you are swinging to you need to thwack some villains upside the noggin and it evolves as the game goes on you start to unlock costumes and extra moves the more you unlock the more complex the fighting gets the more fun it gets and the fighting is kind of set up the same way it was in the Batman Arkham games where you can just move from enemy to enemy throw a punch here daze them jump over here kick this guy in the head and just keep moving between them all until everything's done cool thing here is you can take enemies out of commission by webbing them up there's all these different tasks you have to do some of them are like fetch missions some of them are taking out a bunch of bad guy type stuff too and I was pretty close to 100%ing all of the challenges that you can participate in in the game Except those damn screwball missions. Those are the worst. One of the funny things about this game is it has a social media aspect to it. Not only does screwball film like effed up stuff for YouTube that you end up participating in, but you have like a Twitter feed on the pause menu that you can read. People talking about you and all that kind of stuff. It is really strange and kind of funny. I didn't really pay attention to it much at the beginning of the game, but as the game went on, I'd check in and be like, what are people saying about me? Huh? It's kind of cool that that's even in there at all. Not only does it represent Spider-Man and the license extremely well, all the villains that you end up running into the whole thing with dr octopus is just fantastic and the relationship between mary jane and peter is great they've kind of broken up when the game starts and you're kind of trying to get back together by the end even play as mary jane a couple of times and miles morales which is awesome like i said it just ate up so much of my free time when i could have been making videos probably but you know what you got to play the games to have something to talk about in your videos so it was all for the best because if i didn't play this i wouldn't be talking about it right now this is one of the best games available on the ps4 and probably on the ps5 at this point in time too they redid peter's facial graphics for some reason to make him look closer to tom holland so whatever every aspect of this game is like what do you think it was a big spider-man versus the sinister six <laughs> you're funny and there you have it, day 28 in the licensed video game challenge done. We're getting close to the end, people. The end is nigh. So if you're going to make a response video to this, now would be the time. Make one based on any of the videos I've done so far, or this one, or all of them. 
I don't know. It's up to you if you decide to make one at all. If not, just tell me what video game you would consider to be your favorite comic book licensed game in the comment section below. This was a great topic for me today, especially because I've been wanting to talk about Spider-Man for so long. This gave me the perfect opportunity to do so. So like I said, let me know what your choice would be in the comment section below, or if you decide to make a response video, yay! So until tomorrow's new topic in the licensed video game challenge, I am Chris, the old ass retro gamer, signing off. Thank you